Welcome again to my friend the Holy Spirit. This is Gift of Zawadi Love. We continued the series on prayer. And we, um, ha, well, read, we've been reading from Matthew chapter 6. And now we saw Jesus teaching about prayer. The first things first, it, it has to be start as a private thing. It's private. Secondly, that we have to pray. We pray without repeating ourselves. And thirdly, he said that this is how we should pray. Acknowledging God as our Father and exaltation of God. Exalting him, his goodness, his greatness, his, his, his name above all. And then we ask that his kingdom come and his will be done on earth. Why do we do that? We yield to his will. That's what we saw. Prayer, therefore, is actually allowing God to operate on earth. God has no permission to operate on earth. The Bible says that the heavens belong to the Lord and the earth he has given to man. So man has to allow God to operate on earth. And that is why Jesus himself had to come in a body of a man so he can allow the father to operate on earth. Now, as you have been sent on earth, that is what you're supposed to do, to allow God to operate on earth through you. For his kingdom to come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Remember the disciples were asking Jesus, when is this kingdom coming? When is this kingdom coming? The Bible says that Jesus answered them and said that the kingdom of God, it is not found by looking here where it is. The kingdom of God is within you. If the kingdom of God is within me, then hey, God's kingdom, if it is within me, then his will must be fulfilled on earth. That is why we say, your kingdom come in me, your will be done in me and through me as it is in heaven. Do you understand now that God first things first, he cannot even provide for you. He cannot give you anything before you allow him. Prayer is therefore allowing God to operate on earth legally. A spirit without a body is illegal on earth. That is why when somebody dies, you cannot see them anymore. And they are not allowed to operate on earth anymore. So realize this. Remember when Jesus was casting out demons on a man that they had found who was living in the tombs? And these spirits were they were begging Jesus, please don't send us out. Uh, if you send us out, send us to the pigs. Why do they want the pigs? Why couldn't they just come out? Because they cannot operate unless they're inside a body. They cannot destroy unless they're inside a body. Their spirits are not legal unless they're inside a body. So God also cannot be legal on earth if he did not, is not inside a body. Which body is that? Yours and mine. Just like Jesus, he was a man, but he allowed God to operate within him. Are you allowing the kingdom of God to operate within you and through you to the world? All right. Prayer is not giving God the plan and the map. It is actually reporting to duty and receiving the map and plan from God. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Not my will. So... Prayer is not me going to give God my agenda and giving him my, an assignment. Hey God, I'm doing one, two, three today. In fact, this and this, I want you, you fight for me here. You go here and then you come here. And then today we are going to here and I want to do this and I want to do this. So you do this and this and this in Jesus name. Amen. Really? That is not prayer. God is not your servant. He is the master. Your kingdom come, your will be done. See, it is nothing about my, my, my. It is your, your, your. How is your prayer? Is it all about me, 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 me? See, there is nothing about me in a prayer. All a prayer is, is you, your kingdom, your will. I am here, your servant. I am here. What do you require of me? I am here to do your will, O oh Lord. Hey, but not my will, but your will be done. This is what I, I want, but not my will, but your will be done. 
It is your, your, your. Report to duty. Submit to God. Submit to his kingdom. Submit to his will. Do as he wants, not as you want. You see, we have to understand that it is not about us. When we decree and declare that I no longer live but Christ who lives in me. If you want God to use you, if you want to be able to live a righteous life, you have to submit to God's kingdom and to submit to his will for his kingdom to come in you and his will come in you. Some of us are very lazy to do that and we, we are very selfish. We don't want to do that. But yet we want to run to people who have sacrificed themselves, died to themselves and are submitted to God's will. We run to them. Oh, pray for me. Oh, ask God what he says about this. Oh, do this. Why can't you do it yourself? God doesn't choose, pick and choose who he's going to give his kingdom to. God is not going to pick and choose. He did not pick and choose who Christ is going to die for. So he's not about to pick and choose who he's going to manifest himself, live on earth through. It's up to you to choose him. May God bless you. Thank you.